Mia Felis was 25 years old when she first found out she was pregnant with twins. As a single woman who was working her way through college, she was alone and scared and had no idea what to do. A degree that would eventually help her to enact her revenge. His name was Fernando. From the first moment, Mia could tell that he wasn't what you may call husband material. From the very start, there was something about Fernando that rubbed Mia off the wrong way. Even though she never spent more than a few hours together with him over the span of three weeks, she could tell that there was something fishy about that man. But also, if you have not done already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these real-life stories every day. Mia felt like everything Fernando said and did was just a front. His conversation felt like a scripted routine he had rehearsed a thousand times, and nothing he said felt sincere. Fernando seemed to have no career or even occupation. It was clear that Fernando wasn't a man characterized by his ambition, but that wasn't even the worst part of it. Fernando lived in a so-called studio apartment that looked more like a jail cell. The walls were covered in black mold, the air stinked of something hard to define, and the furniture surfaces were covered in grease. But that wasn't all. At one point of the night, Mia spotted something that instantly froze her blood. As they were laying in bed, Mia saw a few cockroaches running up and down the apartment's floor. There were also cigarette butts scattered at random points of the apartment. Obviously, Fernando was far from being Mia's ideal long-term partner, but that didn't mean that he wasn't fun to hang out with. They were three weeks filled with fun, but it came to an end after an event that left Mia heartbroken. All of a sudden, Fernando stopped answering Mia's messages and calls. It meant he was done with her. Just a few weeks after Fernando disappeared from her life, Mia began feeling some strange symptoms. She bought a pregnancy test in a pharmacy and she walked home with her heart galloping. But when she opened them again, there they were, clear as day. Mia was positive that Fernando was the father of the kid. He had been the only man in her life for the last few months. But Fernando didn't pick up the phone. After trying a couple of times more with no results, she decided to text him and tell him what she had just found out. Fernando, I'm pregnant. I'm positive that you're the father. I've been trying to reach you. Call me when you're free, she said and she left it at that. Fernando gave Mia a call. He asked her if she was joking and Mia assured him that she was dead serious. He completely denied any responsibility and claimed the kid wasn't his. She was livid and confused. How could someone be so cruel? Mia had no family to whom she could turn. They all lived in Brazil. She had moved to California to pursue her education alone. She was completely by herself. When she saw him again on the street, she confronted him, but this time it was worse than before. Now he acted like he didn't even know her. Mia knew she had to do more. Mia stormed off, steaming with anger. Her confrontations weren't working. She needed help, legal help. From her studies, she knew that she had a case and she was willing to go all the way in. There were laws in place to help women like her. She grabbed her textbooks and researched exactly what action she should take. Then. She called a lawyer. All she had to do was explain her situation to her professor who pointed her towards a pro bono lawyer. A pro bono lawyer is basically a lawyer who works for free but has all the qualifications needed to do the job. The court immediately issued Fernando to take a DNA test. But when the results came back, the results confused everyone at hand. The DNA matched two people. Two men were confirmed to be the father. When Mia saw the two men enter the courtroom, she fell back. She was seeing double. There were two Fernandos. They looked incredibly identical, and the whole situation felt like a fever dream. It soon became obvious that they were identical twins. Fernando never mentioned that he had a twin. Suddenly, a sickening feeling came over her. She couldn't identify him by his appearance, but told the court he introduced himself as Fernando. Because they were identical twins, they shared the exact same DNA. There was no test available that could scientifically prove which twin was lying. It was impossible to tell which twin was the biological father. It hit news broadcasts all over the nation. The discovery? Judge Felipe Luis Peruca ordered that both twins provide financial support to Mia by giving her a third of their paycheck monthly. He stated, one of the brothers, in bad faith, seeks to conceal fatherhood, 
Such behavior, of course, should not receive a guarantee from the judiciary, which, on the contrary, must repress clumsy behavior, especially in the case in which the defendants seek to benefit from their own clumsiness. There was more about what the twins were hiding. It was discovered that the twins often used their likeness to impersonate each other. Their goal? To date as many women as they possibly could. A statement from the court said, since adolescence, the pair used their identical appearance to hide betrayals and win over more women. But for Mia, it was a lucky escape. It's a very sad attitude. There was no need for this. They know the truth, but took advantage of the similarity to escape responsibility, Mia said to the press later on. He told me he had a twin brother, but I wasn't introduced. At the time, I didn't suspect anything. The mother also said, according to the court statement, however, even though she grieves for her children to be kept in the dark about who his father is, she also feels incredibly lucky to be able to detach completely from such a person and keep their lives relatively separate. That's a person she and her family would be far better without, and only God knows what kind of childhood would the kid have with that kind of man as a father. Each man will have to pay about 30% of Brazil's monthly minimum wage, which is around $70, and share the mother's dental, medical, school, and clothing costs.